What's going on guys, Matt here, MAS Performance. Uh, this morning you joined me, uh, me checking the valve timing relative to the position of the crankshaft. So obviously we've got cylinder one locked off at TDC. I've confirmed that the uh, piston on cylinder one is at TDC. We've got a DTI, my homemade DTI bore gauge that sits on the crown of the piston. As the piston comes up, that'll tell us it's actually at TDC. And we've also got the, cam the crankshaft, the big pun, locked off using the lock off tool there. So we always set TDC with a DTI. We never go by these factory gauges because it can be as much out as five or 10 degrees. So, but we stuck that in there as well to lock out the crankshaft. Now that will only lock it out and count in a clockwise direction. It will not lock it out anti-clockwise. So, so that being said, now the reason why we're doing this today is two reasons. Uh, one reason was that it has the blue injectors fitted, which it shouldn't, because this is the 180 horsepower version. Uh, and the other one was, this is a Duratec engine, they are solid lifters, so we need to check valve lash clearances today. Uh, so it's all part and parcel of what we're going to be doing today. So my suspicions, be I believe, was this has had the 420 cams put in it. The reason why I think that is because the difference between the 420 and the 360 cater is... The 420 has 210 horsepower, the 360 has 180 horsepower. So the 180, so let's say for example, this is a bone stock 180 horsepower engine. Those injectors should be black. The valve lift will be smaller. Uh, and obviously it's a different file on the map, but the, the Caterham using MBE ECU, so it's an aftermarket ECU. We can't read that because obviously it's locked. That would tell us everything we need to know. Uh, so what I believe has happened is, obviously the previous owner bought the car in a 180 horsepower spec and he's upgraded that to 210 horsepower spec by high lift cams and blue injectors and then a file from Caterham. Caterham will charge you 250 pounds plus the VAT for the file, uh, I think it's about 670 pounds including the VAT for the cams and I think they're about maybe 70 pounds plus the VAT or 90 pounds plus the VAT for the injectors each. So what I think's happened is because I've measured the cams and the cams are the 180 spec because I've had a friend, a uh, Facebook friend measure his 420 cams and they have significantly got higher lift than these cams. So what I believe is the guy has had the 420 upgrade. He's then stripped it back, put the stock cams back in to sell the vehicle, but he's left the blue injectors in. So. The question is A, do we have a 420 map on the file, which obviously is not going to do any good for the engine right now because it's got the small 180 horsepower spec cams in. Uh, and the other thing is, uh, did, the, did the creature that then retimed this engine make a hash of it? Because from what I've seen today, they have. They've not timed the engine correctly. Uh, not it's not wildly out to start tapping valves and it's nowhere near in a state where it's going to start bending valves i mean like i said it got me up the road from all the way from exeter so that's 420 odd miles so obviously the engine is running uh, these are interference fit engines uh, the, the valve and the piston cannot occupy the same space at the same time uh, so what we've done today is we've locked off the crankshaft. Now, like I said, we've got a DTI uh, that's confirming that the piston is actually at TDC because we never go by uh, the factory lockout tools that locks the, the, the crankshaft at TDC on cylinder one. Uh, we just don't because they can be as much out as 10 degrees and that's just not good enough. So the gauge is at zero. Factory lockout tool is in, which is down there. So we go back to the, uh, the camshafts and we have a look. We have the, uh, let's see if we can encourage this thing to focus. So the intake is nice. That goes in beautifully. But the exhaust, no, the exhaust is a no bueno. That is not good. It's not out a lot. If you look, it's, you've got a slight bit of, gap there no gap there so like i said it's not enough to start bending valves uh, and i know it's not enough to start tapping valves either so but it ain't right so whatever creature has then retimed this engine when the guys put the factory cams back in has not done the job properly uh, that ain't right so that's what we're going to be fixing today okay guys